Elon Musk says AI will become nefarious, destroy civilizations. Is he right? Is it good for crypto? We're going to answer that question in a way that you will not see anywhere else. Is Elon right about AI? What is AI? To talk about this and the energy around AI, we're bringing in our resident expert, Toby. Toby, welcome to the show. Thank you. Happy to be here. All right. So Toby, tell us, tell us how you perceive maybe AI and crypto in general. And then, you know, at, when you're done, you can, you know, help us understand whether or not a Elon is right. Is his solution better than what's out there? So tell us about AI. Tell us how you see it. Okay. Well, not an expert in AI, but um, just good with energy. And I did watch the um, entire interview with him and he had a lot of really interesting uh, things to say, but I do, I, I do think it'll be interesting if we have multiple AIs um, because there is a challenge with the programming and, and its accuracy, you know, the old saying garbage in garbage out. Right. So um, these are just a series of algorithms. They're self-learning. So the potential is unknown. Um, but right now, the more competition we can have around this, the more different algorithms focusing on different things. As he said, he wants to um, have his algorithms focus on more human principles. And, and that would be a really good thing. Right? That would be refreshing. <laughs> yeah. so, so the big question is, you know, for crypto people, you yes. know, Will AI, will Elon's AI be good for crypto? Now, ironically, we asked ChatGBT, all right, and ChatGBT seemed to think that because Musk believes crypto is a way for you to control your own money, that any nefarious AI is obviously going to want to take your freedom away from you. So, Toby, with the energy around AI, what can you tell us with your methods as to uh, whether or not Elon is right? Okay, well, let's pull a couple cards and see. So the first card we have is three of cups. Let me pull that back a little so you can see. It looks like a party, and it is. So this is a, a celebratory uh, card. So good news. It's also about bringing groups of people together, and I think that's one of the things that isn't talked about very much with with AI, because it feels like an alienating force. But it is a way for us to unite around a principle, and that would be one of the definitions of this card. So then we'll go to the next one, which is the Knight of Wands, which shows there's going to be a lot of movement in this area, a lot of new energy coming into it. So for crypto, that would definitely be a very, very good sign. Let's see how it ends. So we're, we're celebrating. We've got a lot of energy, a lot of movement coming into this. I'm looking for a bigger card. Ah, oh, well, there's some disappointment up ahead. And the, the disappointment is what it looks like to me around people putting too much imagination into this, so thinking that this is going to solve all of their problems. So solutions are being offered in this card and, and people don't necessarily like the solution, right? So what it looks like to me for right now is that it's going to look like a great party. There's going to be a lot of energy. People are going to be really excited, but in the end, they're going to be like, ah, this isn't really what I thought it was going to be all, you know, all cut out to be what, what I imagined was, was much better than what it, it is. And that's probably a good thing <laughs> in the long run. That's right. It's because it's a little more realistic. Okay. So it's not a society destroyer right this second. No. Uh, and there is some movement around a, a lot of people wanting to pause, uh, you know, the, the production of AI or at least, you know, not send out any more new iterations until we learn more about it. And that's probably a good idea. Okay. In my opinion. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So what do we have next? Do we have more? Do, would you like to do another? Sure. Part? Try it again. Okay. So let's, let's get some more information on, on this, where we're heading. We're going to, We'll do a full circle around. Oh, good. So the cards are saying something totally new is going to come out of all of this. In the meantime, so it says look to new horizons for the new opportunities. 
don't be stuck on what we have now. Look for new things coming up and for things to continue evolving. Um, this is a great representation of um, what you like to talk about, the, the fiat currency and what we have. The king of pentacles is a very rigid, rigid financial system. It's a good representation of that. And the ace of wands suggests, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything here that at least in the near future and, and the cards are not really good at predicting things super long term, but that this new energy coming in uh, through the crypto is, is going to, it's going to keep going and it's going to keep sustaining and it feels more evolutionary to me that, um, and, and maybe just because we're talking about the AI, it, I mean, it's a, it's an artificial intelligence. It's a foreign intelligence. It doesn't work the way our brain works. I think people make a mistake to think about that. We're very, very different, you know? And so we will evolve because of this, as a reaction to this. Energies always go that way. You've got one energy pushing things in a certain direction, and it causes the reverse energy to come to come up. And this analytical force that AI represents is a very masculine force. And we've been in a very masculine domain culturally for a very, very long time. So the undercurrent to that is, is the, you know, these group movements coming up. And I think you've talked a little bit, you know, about the French revolution and, and these other big social movements that have come about. And I, I think that that's very, very likely with what's happening energetically, not in the cards in the cards right now, they're just saying crypto is a really, good. There's going to continue to be a lot of energy going into this and um, more than six months before we'll see maybe something really critical happening. So just keeping that energy going for now. Okay. So it's not an old season party, but crypto is evolving. AI, not as bad as people think, not as scary as the legacy media is saying, but we do want out there, we do want Elon out there providing us with truth, okay, justice and freedom that comes with crypto. So that's it for AI and crypto. We'll see you next time.